Hey everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to be modeling this plastic bottle. Let's start. First, we open a part, and in the front plane, we create a, a center line as always. This center line is 160 millimeter high, and from bottom, I create a line, and on the top, again a group of line and we are finishing now here is 10 millimeter high here is diameter 50 here is diameter 60 when you have a center line when you give a dimension if you go with your mouse the other side the uh, program gives you the, the, the total diameter and here we are placing a radius this radius is 225 and for revolve we just close our uh, sketch and with revolve boss space we made a revolve here I'm having a 2 millimeter radius at the bottom it's going to be 4 millimeter and also at the bottom we just go create a sketch because of the uh, creating strength on the surface bottom always uh, as you know here they create a uh, specific shape which goes inside we are going to make 5 millimeter with uh, 45 degree a profile towards the in and then in the with a nice fillet we are going to put here uh, some radius as you see bottom profile is done sometimes also it is possible to create here some other extra additional ribs but uh, for this example we are not going to do that and I create here one uh, semi arc and the radius values the uh, uh, 62.7 and my uh, this dimension 92.5 and highness from bottom it is uh, 78 millimeter and then by clicking this uh, edge uh, it's a virtual edge uh, I'm taking a, a sketch it convert as this and I just uh, cut through all both as you see we just cut it here and here we are putting a 10 mm radius and we just go again our existing uh, plane front plane here we are creating a spline and finishing like this uh, we are just going to give our uh, dimensions before I'm creating some uh, additional lines, construction lines. This will be 5 mm towards the bottom. This will be to the right 23 mm. And I just say my spline in this point here, tangent to here. and later I'm giving my value here 16 and here oh sorry close sketch here again a value from bottom to up it was uh, 35 millimeter we just here create a relation which is tangency as you see now, by <coughs> uh, giving these values, uh, my spline is fully defined, and I'm just having coincidence on the surface, on the edge here. And then uh, the thing that uh, we should make now with surface command, offset surface, four millimeter uh, towards the in, I made a offset. 
with this uh, existing spline I just go create uh, a split line on the surface and now I delete the outer one and then uh, we are having also inside a, a sketch again with this split line now I'm making it an extrude uh, surface extrude uh, uh, mid plane 100 millimeters long something is going to work for us and some things like that we have now and uh, out also uh, we are having here normally we could do this with a rolled surface but uh, I just wanna make now with this I am selecting the existing uh, elements where I don't wanna see I'm just sending basically and uh, I'm hiding the outer by the way my mouse has one problem now I'm not able to turn <laughs> easily my uh, middle uh, bottom is uh, bottom is not working on my mouse and we select again two objects and this and this area I don't need I'm saying the problem as you see here we have an option key remove selections or keep selections uh, I make a visual uh, um, my tool surface and this surface I just say let's select uh, object and uh, create solid merge entities here uh, now we have a solid on this edge I have a 5 mm uh, radius and on this edge I have a 2 mm radius uh, this is also uh, done we go back our front surface front plane and the second cut which is stays in here uh, for that we go create a, a arc here 58 mm and from center to here 75 and from bottom to here it is 80.5.5 Again, I'm uh, taking this uh, virtual uh, edge by converting this. This area is going, and then we just again extrude the cut uh, in the both direction. Once we have, we just put here a six millimeter radius. Exactly the outer shape that that we, we want now we are almost having. Uh, in this point, I'm going to create now a shell, which is one uh, two millimeter going to be, and I'm going to create now a helix on the, uh, the top. It will be a easy a helix. I will not spend so much time on it, and. Uh, Starting to from top surface two millimeter uh, down. That's why I here have a uh, plane, extra plane, and I convert this edge, and we just go select uh, helix and sprawl three millimeter pitch, two revel revolution, and starting angle is uh, super zero. And in this uh, case, probably that's going to be one of our existing starting point, existing planes on the right plane seems. And I just could put here a circle, and from middle I divide it. And with control mouse button, I'm just selecting first the helix, and then the center of uh, the, uh, the line or to arc and uh, adding this Pierce relation and the highness of my uh, radius of my circle is uh, one and a half I just close the sketch and with swap I just set profile and helix we are going to add the 
the helix but now what I realize my pitch is 3 and my profile almost 3 and uh, there will not be any space that's why program is not creating we, we just change basically the di diameter uh, radius and it is just an example yeah. as you see we just go create uh, here normally we could create a uh, soft uh, starting with this edge but I will not uh, do that just adding here some radius first here I add a radius and here just maybe 0.25 to not make edge sharp let's leave it like that it's not so important and I'm hiding the unnecessary sides and here adding a uh, radio uh, 0.5 mm chamfer. In plastic, uh, always you have chamfers and uh, radiuses because sharp edges cre create a problem on the mold. You shouldn't have any sharp edge as much as possible. Also, this is a, a, a injection a kind of reduction method which is like by, uh, by a tube blowing inside air they are getting the final shape uh, if you have a sharp edges and then uh, you could have some holes or, and the, the product some uh, mistakes that's why we are just uh, avoiding all the time creating some things without any radius anyway uh, I open a sketch in a new plane we are just going to uh, create last uh, example, uh, last uh, step. Uh, uh, I need some sketch here and the cut model on he here. I need to use this sketch because I couldn't convert that. Uh, I just set the other one. Uh, basically, we made a convert entities and took here a profile and I just go create here a 2mm part a straight part with extrude and making 50mm offset and uh, after creating this we need a directional uh, direction for this uh, pattern I add somewhere a uh, helping line for me under the uh, patterns we have fill pattern this is the fill boundary this is the, the, the direction I just go create three diameter uh, pattern each uh, with six millimeter space or we can say five <laughs> there's a little bit more and just close uh, basically program going to cut for me here uh, some holes I am selecting convert entities and selecting this surface and select all inner loops I am saying and I get my uh, sketch by the way we also cut my body we are just going to uh, revise it and auto select cut it but you're going to be only the second one that we create for uh, having some pattern on the surface exactly now we are having them and up the surface we are going to make a uh, extrude no merge result and we just go out and now I need copy of this surface with uh, one and a half millimeter height because the diameter of parts uh, this uh, extrude is 3 and I am planning to, like, to make it a dome that's why we made one and a half millimeter because they are semi circles I would say 
and we have our uh, surface and the bodies this is going to be the body that we are uh, using also these parts are my parts that I wanna cut all I choose by selecting shift clicking end, end and beginning and on the screen as you see we have a group of the little parts and now uh, I make my bottle visible and I'm deleting unnecessary help uh, body we have 45 body and then under the features we have a, a feature combine we are going to add everything I select first object and then going end with while I am pressing shift button on the uh, my keyboard and later we combine everything and now we just go select all uh, same pattern and same program that we want 1.5 mm radius as you see when we have done this uh, we are having here a little domes if you want you can also put here some extra uh, radiuses after this operation the only thing that you should do make a mirror but we should uh, take care of it because we have a helix uh, maybe it was wise to make helix after this operation uh, I'm going to finish my video here uh, I think everything clear uh, I hope you enjoy uh, and you have learned some things it is not a hard surface example it is very easy try to follow all steps and after some trial uh, you will be uh, learned everything what in this video have been done uh, please if you like uh, my video like mouse uh, press like button and make a comment thank you for your support